The circuit board is underneath all those wires. Uh, that circuit board has a freescale processor. Each core on the processor does 250 million multiply adds sustained per second. That's 250 supercomputers per core, and there's two cores. Right now we have that system running at about 60% of its rated clock speed. So we have room for other stuff. And um, we've added functionality since our NAND demo. And uh, Max will be demonstrating and explaining all that. And you notice there's an alternate battery pack that this could possibly use right now with powering it um, through this MIDI cable, which is a seven, uh, connects to a 7 pin in. It's that little connector there. So I'm actually getting power constantly from the unit. You know, again, this is technology. We're not showing a product. so. Um, I'm going MIDI in to the circuit board and um, I'm controlling it with a foot pedal here, a foot controller, and then I've also got a, an iPad with MIDI Touch, which is an you know, expensive app, which Marco programmed wonderfully and, and, uh, and you guys are welcome to come up and play this stuff and um, show you how it all works. So, um, and also we're using a, a, a hex pickup for this, which is right now I've got a Seymour Duncan on here. Um, they're excited about this as well. So this is a $99 guitar with about $40,000 worth of technology installed on it. And this is what it sounds like with the technology turned off. Okay. Uh, this is what it sounds like with when I engage the string tune function that uh, Andy just mentioned. So that gesture you heard tells me it caught the strings and tuned them to the right standard tuning on a guitar and not on the same chords. So, all DSP, no gears or level, uh, or levers or anything like that, um, and obviously did it within a matter of a second or two. So that was great, that's what we showed at NAMM and, and a, a couple other things I'll show you. Um, but then we took it the next step further, which is uh, solid tune intonation. And solid tune intonation allows us to give a guitar perfect intonation, which, because of physics, has never occurred before. And on an instrument like this, intonation is going to be an issue anyway, or if you press it too hard. So I'm going to give you some examples of that. And again, you know, stop me if I go too fast or you have questions. Uh, so right now, solid tune intonation is off. No, we engage it. So you kind of hear how the beat tones leveled out. I'll turn it off and do it again. And that also, you know, even though it is correcting pitch in real time for the solitude intonation, I can still do bend. Still plays like a regular guitar as it, as it should. It actually helps. That bands. solitude intonation function works continuously and instantaneously. Yeah. So it's constantly monitoring. So, um, but what it also does is it helps me bend to the right note. steps or full step once you get fairly close and we can, we have you know adjustments over the aperture then it'll lock on to the right tune which I think it sounds very natural what you just described of getting a bend most of the way very close to being in tune and then does it take over I don't know if I'm describing it taking over it, it, it then the, I think the correction algorithm kicks in It's not jumping, it's not jumping, it's not quantized. Right. It still is natural, so I'm actually, you know, in between half steps and all steps. Well, I absolutely, I heard what it was doing to the chords, but I don't hear it doing anything to the bends. It seems like you can bend yeah, you however can. you want. Yeah, you absolutely can. One of the challenges is, you know, hex pickups traditionally don't sound very good, and they haven't had to. It's always been processed through a rolling device or some other device, right? So. Um, so Andy, who you know developed mic modeling and, and uh, knows all that technical stuff, uh, sent me out and I got to record some vintage two humbucker guitars <laughs> and some classic five position blade switch single coils and uh, some twangy guitars and some really 
nasty cheap guitars back from the 60s that are now worth lots of money and and and, and recorded them all studied them and, and did some modeling and so um, with a humbucker standard tuning.
so the tone control is boost and cut, um, and that helps you dial in the sound you want. any pickup combination. So I'm going to open G. And I'm going to go ahead and, yeah. Try. So I'll cable up. This is in half steps on here. You can jump anywhere you want using the iPad, but I'll do it in half steps for now.